time in YouTube and welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown battle on the channel. Today we are taking on my good friend TJ, who is also named Dual Roxas. Um, and we are bringing Ramu back for one more final battle. Uh, we'll be bringing in an OU team next week, but we're going to get straight into this because you know what? He's excited, I'm excited, I hope you are excited for another showdown battle. Let's get into this right now! So, we see that he's bringing an Eevee? Um, he is bringing Eevee, Sylveon, Espeon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. The original three, four in fact. Um, so, what I want to do here... I want to lead Luna. I'm gonna lead Luna. I've done it pretty much every other time. Uh, this is actually great for us. Uh, I cannot hit it with anything, so I'm simply gonna substitute. Goes for a substitute of his own as I go for one. There's only one problem here. Can't touch it. I'm gonna go to Fioka. I think that's my play. That is fine by me. I do believe Sylveon is slower than this thing. Actually, no, I am faster. No, 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 no. go for the Shadow Ball. Baton passes into what? Into Lil Kalia, which actually takes the Shadow Ball quite well. Um, I need to go into Luna? No. No. I am screwing this up big time. I am screwing this up really badly. Oh. <sighs> I survived, which is fine. Um, we're gonna go for a knockoff. He's faster than me. Choice scarf must be. Uh, best play here is to go into Fioka. Uh, unfortunately, I did have to sacrifice my Leafy on, but no, there's a trick room up. They return to normal. Just double checking. Twist it. Okay, so I should be able to take this thing out, which I do. Eevee does go down. Eevee actually got a knockout on me, put a lot of pressure on me, actually. Uh, I made a lot of misplays in those first few turns, which is actually kind of scary. Uh, I am locked in to Hyper Voice, so I got no choice here. I'm going to go for it. I know how much damage the Sylveon can do, so I don't want it getting a uh, priority over me. If I am Choice Scarf and it's Specs, I might be able to take this. I do go for the Hyper Voice, as it goes for a Calm Mind. Alright, we go for another Hyper Voice, hopefully we can get some damage here. I don't think Sylveon has anything to actually hit us with, uh, so we should be alright. It's at 32%, goes for a Hyper Voice. We're living! We're living! Uh, here's hoping that this will take out the Sylveon. I guess it's Assault? No, it can't be Assault Fest. It must be heavily specially defensive, because although the Calm Mines are huge, um, I don't know. Anyway, at this point, Fioka is going to go down. I gotta go for one final Hyper Voice, and we're gonna do some damage. Uh, we do get a Trick Room off here. What do I do? I don't want to let Fioka go down at the moment. He 
He's got the three starting EVs plus Espeon and Lapdos. So Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Espeon. You've gone for a Trick Room. You're gonna go into Luna. I'm not about to give up on that. He's going for the Wish. Alright. So we've seen that his moveset is what? Trick Room, Wish, Baton Pass, and Substitute. Trick Room, Substitute, Wish, and Baton Pass. So it has no attacking move on it, so I'm not threatened by this thing. Alright. I'm gonna go into Ariel. Substitute, as the wish happens. I want to predict the Jilteon switch here, so I'm... But even still, I'm going to go for a Scald here. Doesn't take me out. Goes into Jilteon. My play is to simply go for my own remove. Actually, I'm going to protect here. That is the best play. Scout out what this thing is going to do. If it goes for a thunder move, I can assume it's probably scarfed. Hint power, ground, not happening. So, what I need to do here is go for a scald. I should be able to take a thunderbolt at this range. Hint power, you are choice, my friend. There goes your scarf. Or, sorry, not your scarf. There goes your substitute. Um, I'm not threatened by this thing. I'm gonna simply go for a wish, take more damage. I'm gonna hit with a skull. Uh, signal beam. Sorry, not good enough. And we get 37% off on this thing as Ariel gets fully healed up, which is amazing. I do believe it is time to switch. He's going to assume that I'm going to stay in here. And he is not scarfed. He is not scarfed. I want to save my remove for the cleansing of this, so... Let's go for a protect. See if he's going to go for that Thunderbolt this time. Does go for the Volt Switch, but does not work. Alright. I think... Is this the time I go into Soul? I gotta go into Soul. Goes into his own Vaporeon. As I go for Soul, this is actually fine. I'm gonna set up here a Calm Mind. Goes for a Scald, does 16%, no burn, which is fine by me. Uh, I'm gonna go for another Calm Mind here. Ice Beam does 9. I believe I can go for a Substitute here. Goes for the Skull, does not break my substitute. I'm simply going for another Calm Mind. Now usually, now mine is uh, specially defensive. Can I take this thing out with a Psy Shock? I'm gonna hope so. Does not take it out, but does get a ton of HP taken out of it. Goes into the Flareon as a Toxic Boost happens, which is fine. I'm still up on the HP here. I'm still behind a Substitute. This is a tough game. Not to state that I'm in a bad position at all. I'm actually in a great position. 
but I did manage to get some HP on, or er, get some damage done onto that Espeon. Do I go for the Psy Shock or do I go for the Baton Pass into the Jolteon? Because if I go for the Baton Pass into the Jolteon, I've got this game. Because I got Hidden Power Ground. You are a physical attacker though, and my physical defenses aren't all that, so I'm going to go Baton Pass. And to remove. Fades my substitute, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ground. It will take out... Oh, it doesn't take out the Flareon! We lose Jolteon, but the Flareon should also go down, which is fine. Uh, we are sitting kind of comfy, though. Uh, I can just go straight into Sylveon here. I cannot take this, I don't think. I'm Scarfed. What am I talking about? I should be fine. Hyper Voice. If he is not faster than me, I will take it out. I hope. Goes for the Volt Switch, does take me out. I was hoping that Fioka would be fast enough to take out our opponent, but in last. In, oh, unfortunately, it is not. So. We're gonna go into Aerial. I know this thing has no attacking moves on it, so I can wish. And I'm going to simply go straight into Soul, because she is the one that I need to save up and keep going. We see the substitute. Does not mean much to me. I'm going to go for a Calm Mind here. The rest of his attackers are all special. Let's take out that substitute. Shadow Ball doesn't do too, too much. We get a crit on the substitute. That means the substitute's down. We have just the Jolteon sitting here. And as we saw from the HP, uh, the Jolteon should not be able to take us out question is, can we take it out? We lost 27%. Let's go for the Psy Shock. I believe I was faster. I might be wrong. No, he was faster. He was faster than me. Jolteon is naturally faster, 130 base. Espeon is, I think, 110. My math is terrible for the Sylveon Scarf, as most of these battles have seen. I should have chosen a better Scarfer, that is for sure. I thought it would be good though, and unfortunately it didn't work out the way I was hoping. Uh, apparently Jolteon and Espeon still outspeed Sylveon. Uh, so we see a Volt Switch as I am going for the attack. So I should be able to knock someone out here. I get a ton of damage off on the Espeon. And again, I'm not too threatened here, but I want to get rid of this thing. It lives on one! It can't make a substitute though, so I can simply go for a Calm Mind here. Goes for a Wish, that's fine, that's fine. I'm going to go for a Psy Shock. Baton passes out into the Jolteon as I go for a Psy Shock and knock out Jolteon! Thank you! Espeon comes back in. I know this thing has no attacking moves, so it's either going to go for a Wish or a Baton Pass. Either way, it's best to calm mind. And I'm going to go for a Psy Shock at this point. Or do I go for another and get greedy? I know it has to Baton Pass out. I'm going to go for another Calm Mind. You stay in, get your HP back, and go for a Trick Room. Uh, Trick Room, unfortunately, wasn't out, so he stayed in. And, sorry. Trick Room hadn't cancelled. He used the Trick Room again, and it returned everything back to normal. Uh, so I got to set up Espeon again. Psyshock takes out the Espeon! Beautiful! We are now just one Mon away from taking this. Uh, we're gonna go for that Psyshock. And we just simply one shot. Vaporeon goes down. Thank you, TJ, for having a fantastic match. Um, 
I think my commentary was a little off this one, simply because the pressure at the start, I was making a lot of misplays, I let that EV set up, uh, it did cost me my Leafeon, which could have done a lot of work against his Espeon and a couple others later in the game, um, but all in all, we did have a good game, uh, the Espeon definitely was our critical mon in this entire thing, having the ability to set up, being able to read our opponents when they were trying to do certain things, like me knowing that that Espeon had no attacking moves pretty much won me that game. Knowing that he couldn't hit me, I could just set up in it, make sure that I was fine. It was great. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this final match of Ramu and his Evolution team. Like I said, next week we will be starting an OU team. I have not decided on the captain yet, but you will see it on Monday. That is a for sure thing. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. But until then, time out.